Hey, it's Peter. Yesterday I did a video on talking about how I'm going to create a podcast, talking to creative businesses who are putting out content, and how I'm going to grow the podcast to 10,000 streams or downloads per month. So I mapped out things in Miro yesterday of kind of what I'm going to do. Um, I won't go into detail of this today. Uh, check the video from yesterday and um, explain it in detail. One thing I will talk about is how I'm going to promote it on social networks. I did this edition today, so I forgot I need to post it on social media. And I'm going to use Integrum at an Airtable to do that for me. So the idea is I'll have a virtual assistant create all the content in Airtable, which will post to Integrum app, which will then post to social media on my accounts without me having to give their login. I just need to give them access to Airtable and that's it. The rest will be handled um, automatically. So let's take a look. I'm using Integrum app. If you've never used it before, it's a way of automating apps together. Uh, you need a little bit of coding knowledge and logic understanding, but most things you can do completely without any code. You just string the things together. So I've got Airtable set up here. It's on watch records and it literally watches the new records. And then I've got a router. Now I'm using the scenario which Airtable have provided and I've modified it to suit my needs. A router works like a clock, so imagine a clock ticking around and it will start by going to the top router and then it'll check for Twitter and then it'll update Airtable, then it will iterate it and then it will update Twitter and Airtable and then it will check for LinkedIn and then it will check for Facebook and then Facebook pages. And it does this by determining what content I'm posting on Airtable to where it should go on which social network. So you can see here, this router here goes to this router which goes to Twitter. So I need a filter between here and here to make sure that it's not a Facebook post going to Twitter. So I do that by going on the filter and the condition is it checks if the platform is Twitter and the date of posting does not exist. So this condition goes to here. So here's Airtable. It checks the platform, which is Twitter, and it mustn't have a date posted. If it does have a date posted, it won't get posted. This means that I won't duplicate content by accident. Sometimes when you've got a load of content going out through social media, it's quite overwhelming. and You don't quite remember kind of when you posted what and if it had any effect. So I can write my posts in here and Integromat is triggered by the status. When I put something approved, it changes the modified date, which Airtable looks for. Let me load it up and I'll show you. So the trigger field for when Integromat is updated, it looks for mod and mod is here. And the only time mod changes is when I change this tag here to approved. Otherwise I can write whatever I like and nothing changes. So it's a really good way of automating it. So I can press approved and then the modified time now exists and Integromat will fire. Um, well, it won't right now because I've got it turned off. So this is essentially my version of Buffer. And if you've never used Buffer, it's a social media planning management tool and I just want to build my own because then I can build what I like and have it set up how I like. The only things I needed to modify, LinkedIn doesn't return back a posting date which is kind of annoying. So I can post on LinkedIn but I can't grab the post date and time from LinkedIn so I have to set a variable and it's just a simple variable, it's just a date and it's now and that variable is then updated back in Airtable. So you can see here, record ID, URL's post ID. Oh, the only one I haven't updated, so post now. Date posted is now. So you can see I'm updating Airtable once the post is live. So LinkedIn will post. I set a variable with a time and date. Airtable will then be updated. It will match the record ID. Every row in Airtable has an ID assigned to it behind. You can't actually see the code um, unless you create it specifically. The 
the status will let remain blank. Uh, we can change the status to approved. So like posted. And then the date posted will be today's date. So I'll just check the others to make sure I've done that as well. So I've got a feeling I haven't. Yeah, I've done these ones. And we'll check Facebook group. I'm going to run a post to the group in a minute. So we want status posted. This will send text back and the text will match my tag. So it will change it to green once it's live. And the date posted. I don't know what details are available. So I'm going to run a module now and see what it works. So I'm going to post this on my Facebook group and we'll see what happens. And we want the YouTube like this. I'm not going to use an image. Actually, I will grab an image this time. So I'm just uploading the image now. And here's the image. So this image is uploaded to Airtable. And I want this going to my Facebook group. Now I've not tested this yet, so I don't know if it's going to work. So everything is set up. Here's my post. I can um, expand this to extra tools so I can see what's going on a little bit easier. And I want to approve this. And this will now be ready in Integra Map. So if I run the module, hopefully we should see it tick around to Facebook. So it has failed, which is fine. Um, the operation has failed. It requires the app being installed in the group. Oh, okay, so I haven't set up the credentials correctly. Never mind, that won't be a problem. I just need to reset them up. So when this is all set up correctly, it will work. As you can see here, it's taken the record send it down the router it's recognized its facebook group because i've got the filter set up but i haven't got it set up correctly on facebook and then the record will update in their table well, that's how i'm going to promote the podcast to social media let me know your thoughts and comments ultimately subscribe to this channel it'd be really cool to grow it as well and let me know what you think in the comments be great and also if you're a fan of integramat let me know it's always good to chat with people who like building these kind of scenarios and mapping stuff out. All right, see you later. Cheers.